Hi everyone. So, <laughs> I know I haven't done a video in a while. I'm not gonna say that I'll try and upload more because every time I say that I just don't do it. Because I just get tired and I don't know. I'm gonna try though, but um, yeah. <laughs> okay, um, yeah, I just wanted to make a video because in my last video I told you that I just finished exams and that as soon as I kind of got results and I knew a bit more of what was going on, I would make a video to kind of like update and like let you know how everything is going. So I did get my exams back and I did pass everything, thank God. Um, yeah, I passed. Basically there's a whole breakdown of how, um, like what grades you get for everything. And I'm not gonna go into that because that's kind of complicated, but um, essentially they give you like a GPA type thing. Um, and mine was, I think it was 3.75 and the maximum was 4.25, which I was like, I was so pleased with. I was like, yes, perfect. So good, I'm so happy because they were really hard and I had no idea how I did in them. I was so confused, I was legit like, I had no idea if I'd passed, if I'd failed. First set of exams for university ever. I was really, I don't know, I just had no idea what I was doing to be honest. And to be fair, not that many people in my course did because it is the first time, so it's always kind of scary, but it worked out, I guess. So I thought I'd give you like a few tips if you're going to uni or if you're still in A-levels and you're thinking about uni, kind of, how to study for it, how it's different, whatever. I'm in vet school, so it's gonna be kind of, I guess it's gonna be pretty general, to be honest. Um, so first thing is, we have lectures. Um, we have them like every day. So I'd say probably really important to actually go to them. And it's like for us, for example, you don't technically have to go because um, Basically, they're like recorded, but at the same time, when you go, you actually kind of get the knowledge given to you like one time around, which is already good revision. So you're hearing it and you're kind of listening to it. Lately, I don't know what's happening. I'm kind of falling asleep in them a lot. <laughs> Not actually falling asleep, but I'm getting like very drowsy and very sleepy because I think it's because they're putting the lights down and that I just like that means nap to me but try and stay awake bring bananas guys also food like bring food with you in lectures like you can eat in lectures there's a reason for that bring food bring carbs like not too much coffee because they get to a point like where I am now that it does nothing to me so I'm gonna have to at some point stop drinking it and then like start again later um but yeah, bring food. Um, so yeah, take notes in your lectures. What I do is I use OneNote, which is like this, um, it's this thing that you get on Macs and it's basically like you put the lecture as a PDF and then you take like notes next to it. And it's quite good. Even if you're not actually like taking useful notes, it's still good to kind of, it, it's a way to keep you like, not asleep to be honest that's pretty much all it's for um and it helps you kind of know what's going on so like beforehand before the lecture like go on the thing where you download it and kind of read it like or have a quick look so you kind of know what's going on which is something i don't do that much but you should it's good um yeah and then once you finish the lecture and you've gone to it and you've kind of taken notes i'd say go home and you can do this in different ways, but you can either print the lecture and kind of, what I do is I put all, like if there's relevant images, I'll print those all in like, I'll edit them together in like a sheet of paper, kind of like this sort of thing. Damn, it's so bright. Yeah, but um, these are in black and white because it would, but you can do it in color or whatever. Just print them side by side and then I leave kind of like gaps and then I fill these in. And what they do with us is they, they record lectures. So I kind of go back and re-listen to them and kind of write. And I guess that kind of cements it a little bit. 
yeah, that's pretty much what I do. But then, to be honest, you can't really do that because some weeks we have so many that you can't write them all up. So basically it comes down to like the final week, like the last week you have, we have two weeks for revision. That's when I'll like the hardcore, just like going through everything, going through the concepts, making sure you've got like that shit down. <laughs> Um, that gets done in the last two weeks, but basically this helps a lot to like keep everything kind of in your head and um, For example, this is like a lecture and there's all the slides and you can either do this and write here But because I'm obsessed with saving paper I do it on the computer, but you can do it both ways And that's pretty much how I do it and if you have some free time sometimes just like read over stuff just like to keep it fresh in your head not, not many of us do that, <laughs> to be honest. But yeah, that's pretty much what I do. Everyone does it different. Loads of people in my class do it differently. Um, but one thing, if you're watching this because you're considering doing vet med or you're doing vet med or medicine or whatever, I'd say also don't, don't overdo it. Like, because it's, it, there are people I kind of go like way overboard and this course is only gonna get like it's gonna get harder and I'd say first year it's it is important to like know your basics because it's like the base of your knowledge for the next five years but at the same time try and like chill as well like it's, chilling is not a sin so take home message is just chill no I'm kidding um <laughs> just make sure you don't go overboard and yeah that's pretty much it for kind of tips and stuff for studying at university but yeah thank you for watching leave me more ideas more stuff that you'd like to do and I think you you guys have been leaving me quite a lot of stuff and I'm kind of like compiling it together to make like a Q&A video because there's quite a lot of questions so I'm kind of I'm gonna wait a few more kind of days and then I'll do a Q&A with all your questions. So if you've left me comments and haven't answered, they will be answered in a video soon. But yeah, again, go check out my brother's channel, Indian Astri. Go check out his Insta, it's awesome. Um, and yeah, basically just subscribe if you like this. <laughs> Yeah, if you want info like about uni, whatever, vet school, I got you. Anyway, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye! <laughs>